Hi, I'm Deborah Lippman. Today I'm going to talk about the things that I look for if I'm wandering down the street and I decide that I want to have a mani pedi. What do I look for in a salon? So uh, the first thing I want to look for is somewhere that is immaculately clean. I'm going to peek in the windows. I'm going to look at how all of the stations are set up and kind of the, honestly the quality of the furniture and whether it's kind of a more elevated salon is something that I would prefer to go into. So I haven't worked in a salon in years, by the way, but I do like to go have a mani-pedi every now and then. But as you can imagine, I'm very, very, very particular. <laughs> Um, so when you uh, pick a salon and you decide, okay, this is looking good from the outside and you step in, the first thing I do, honestly, is I look at the floors. I look at the state of the floors. Are they dirty? Are they, are, are, is there stuff piled up in the corners? You know, is there dirt and filth? Um, I will also just walk through the salon and look at each person's station and see how their implements are laid out. Are they, you know, do they look as pristine as it would look like if you were, say, at your dentist and he has all his tools laid out? We want them to look really pristine and like you care and like they're hopefully clean. We don't know that yet, but um, so I go early for an appointment. I don't go when I'm in a huge rush because I really want to make sure that I'm going somewhere that is going to be clean and safe. So um, there are things to look at. I think in many of the salons now you go in and you have a, say you get into the pedicure first. So um, if someone uh, finishes a pedicure, if a, if a manicurist finishes a pedicure and the client gets out and then they call you over to come into their pedicure, that same pedicure station, um, while they're cleaning it, don't do it, don't sit in that chair. When they clean and sanitize uh, their tubs, um, first of all, it takes longer than most of them do. We want to make sure that, we, you know, they want to make sure, they should be making sure that all of the dead pieces of feet and skin and nails are out of that tub. And then when you spray the sanitizer in it, it takes 10 minutes. It takes a good 10 minutes for that to uh, clear away the bacteria and staph infection, anything that might be left in the tub. So you need that 10 minutes before they put water in the tub for you. Um, when you get and you're sitting on, then you get up and you're sitting on your throne and you've chosen your color. Well, hopefully you, you brought your color with you, but we'll get to that later. Um, and you're sitting on your throne. Watch as the water um, comes into the bowl because sometimes, um, and sorry that I'm saying this, um, but it's true. Sometimes little floaties of other people's feet pieces are show up in the water because the, the tub hasn't been cleaned enough. So you want to you want to look for that. I've seen that happen on, I'm sad to say, multiple, multiple occasions. Um, so you want to see that that's, um, and then as your manicurist is getting her tools, you want to look over at how she has them set up. What is she using as a sanit uh, for her sanitary methods is she does she have barbicide that blue liquid where there's a little jar and it has blue liquid in it and they put their tools in them so here's a couple tips about that take a gander into that blue liquid and make sure that you're not seeing little flecks of um, well honestly fingernails and skin uh, so if I were to take if I were working at a salon and I took my nippers and I cut a bunch of skin off of somebody which I wouldn't do but just say and then didn't clean it off and then just popped it into the barbicide, all that dead skin would be in the barbicide and that happens a lot. So you want to make sure that even the sanitizer is clean because sometimes it's not. Um, when, if someone is using barbicide, when they pull that tool out, it's really important that they rinse it. It has to go to the sink and get rinsed, completely rinsed and then thoroughly, thoroughly dried before it's ready to be used on you. So using that barbicide, it's like, um, you know, it, it does clean the implements well enough if it's, if it's been in there long enough. Using an autoclave is better. Using an autoclave is the safest way to have your implements really, really, really clean. It gets rid of really all of the viruses. You know, when they put them in a, like a, 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 a packet and they put their tools in. So the, only the metal tools can be used in an autoclave. If somebody puts, um, has like say a file and a buffer inside one of those little packets, um, they are faking you out because those cannot be cleaned in, a, in an autoclave because they would go in there and, and 
absolutely just dissolve and turn to mush. So that would give you a heads up that your manicurist was trying to cut some corners on her sanitization process. Uh, when you look at the file, your file, the file they use on you should be brand new. The buffer that they use on you should be brand new because if it's not, if they have buffed somebody before you, some of that person's nail goes into the buffer. If they then use that buffer on you, that person's nails is now going onto your nail. Sorry, it just grosses me out to even think about it. Um, so you want to make sure that um, they're using a brand new file, a brand new buffer. Um, I even saw recently somebody, um, I was uh, sitting with a friend and we were getting manicures and I looked down, uh, down the row and we were getting pedicures and I looked down the row and the manicurist was sitting waiting for her, her client was soaking and she took a, a ball of, of cotton and wiped off her own polish and then took the same piece of cotton and put it down on the guest's toe to take off her polish. I mean, really, you couldn't get another piece of cotton? What is going on? Um, so also, you want to be careful of a salon that I would have a total red flag if there was a salon that had a credo blade. And the credo blades are those knives that shave off the calluses. And those, um, you probably know, are uh, now illegal in 45 states. And that's just because they've been misused. Um, it's not so much that it's a bad tool, but it's a tool that's been misused enough and caused enough injury, injury, big injuries to the foot that it is now illegal. So if, um, you know, if, you're, if that salon is using those, that's, I mean, don't let them use it on you. Just don't, it's, it's not a good thing. Um, when you look at the foot file, if you're having the pedicure and you look at the foot file, they bring the foot file out. If it looks dusty, it's got somebody else's feet in it. That's what it is, somebody else's skin. So you want them to go and really give it a good cleaning or really I would ask them to pull out a new one. I would ask them to pull out a new one. And in a lot of salons now, they use foot files that have disposable um, grits. The grit part comes off, it just peels off and then they put on a brand new one and it's easy breezy and then you've got something that's brand, brand new. Um, I think that uh, also one of the things, and this is coming from the client side, I think you should um, be careful of shaving your legs right before you go to get a manicure pedicure because if you're like me and you get a little nick here, a little nick there, um, and then you go to put your feet in the water, it's just, you could, it's going to breed an infection. It's just an open sore ready for, ready for infection. We don't want that. Um, so go in with your stubble. I'm a manicurist. I don't mind a hairy leg. I don't care how hairy it is. I don't care how stubbly it is. That's, I, we don't even think about it. It's just like, we don't even think about it. So don't worry about it and don't be embarrassed. Go in with your little bit of stubble and um, be safe that you don't have any nicks or anything that are gonna be in there. Um, there are so many variables, I think, that happen in the salon with tools. I mean, if somebody uses, a, a, say, a nipper, and they are taking off skin on, uh, taking off cuticle, and they don't, uh, and they don't wipe it completely clean, wipe that blade completely clean before they put it in to whatever sterilization process they're using. Um, they're going to pull it back out and use it on you with, um, well, first of all, if they use it in barbicide, it's going to go into the barbicide. That skin is going to go into the barbicide and if it's in an autoclave it's just they're it's just going to come back out with skin on it and they're going to use it with somebody else's skin on it so you just really need to uh, be alert when you're at the salon you know when you go in and they say do you want to cut or not cut and then you say not cut and then you get on the phone or then you get on a magazine and you're not paying attention and before you know it your cuticle is gone and you're bleeding. So you really, you need to stay focused, not that you need to not have fun and relax while you're having your pedicure, but when they're doing certain things uh, like your cuticles, which are so important, and if you don't want them cut, and I hope you don't, um, it's really important to just keep your eye on them. And if they do start to cut it, you are, you're in the power position, you are paying for this service. You need to ask them to stop. You need to not be ashamed, not be embarrassed. Um, absolutely ask them to stop. So for me, there are so many variables um, that can happen in the salon that can be uh, just um, just dirty. Just there are just so many, there really are so many dirty salons that um, I find that I want to take all of my own tools with me. I really do because um, as my husband always says, 
if they haven't been with you, you don't know where they've been. Good luck going to the salon. Look for cleanliness. It's going to take a little bit longer, but it'll be better. It'll be so much worth it in the end. You will be safe.